Welcome to Dallas, Texas and SolidWorks World 2016. We're here in Dallas with the rootinest, tootinest roundup of CAD brains from around the planet. And we, but we took some time out and we're going to do a little bit of research on the steer horn hood ornament market as we prepare for a presentation to Boss Hog. Now old Boss Hog is wondering how he can quickly bring to market new steer horn ornament designs. And well, of course, the first step is a 3D model. So we got Brad Williamson, he's on the horn, to give us a few modeling tips to make complex shapes easy in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Since the steer horn is symmetric, I will just design one half of the model. I'll begin by sketching a circular profile. Now I'll extrude using Instant 3D to dynamically drag the length. From the Property Manager, I can specify one degree of draft to slightly taper the straight section of the horn. I'll use a 3D sketch to define the curved portion of the horn. A style spline will make a nice smooth curve that only requires a point at the start and end of the spline. Adding an along X relation here ensures the start of the spline lines up with the axis of the straight portion of the horn. The horn will taper to a smaller circle at the end of this spline. I can insert a plane normal to the spline passing through the spline endpoint. For clarity, I can resize the display of the plane by dragging the handles. I like to sketch this circle slightly off the sketch origin. Now by control selecting the center point of the circle and the spline, I can apply a Pierce relationship. This way I know my profile is properly located. Exit the sketch and insert a boss loft feature. The loft will blend two profiles, the flat face on the end of the extrusion and the small circle I just sketched. To get the loft to follow the spline path, I will choose the centerline loft option in the property manager. The preview looks good. I need another sketch to locate the sharp point of the horn. A control drag and drop creates an offset copy of the existing reference plane. A sketch point concentric with the end of the horn is all that's needed here. Another boss loft feature is used to blend between the end face of the horn and the sketch point. Adjust the start and end tangency options as shown to create a smooth blend to the existing horn. I will clean up the display by hiding the reference planes and take a look at the front and top views. As a last step, all that needs to be done is to mirror the geometry about the mid-plane. Brad certainly never steers us wrong when it comes to how to quickly capture a model inside of SOLIDWORKS. Now, of course, a rock in 3D model, that's just the first step in new product development. Now, from there, Boss Hog can do much more to get ahead of the competition. For one, leveraging 3D printing for rapid prototyping. Hey, thanks a lot to Fisher Unitech for printing this thing out. Now, there's a lot of different 3D printing technologies from FDM to SLA, so make sure you check with your partner to understand what technology is good for you. Now, of course, while 3D printing is just a first way to evaluate the form, fit, and function, you know, there comes a time when we need to do a little bit of physical testing. So we're going to use simulation to digitally test our horns in a 200 mile per hour wind tunnel, and then check the factor of safety using that air pressure and the weight. How optimal is our mounting design? Thanks for taking a few minutes with us today, and we'll catch you down the dusty trail. Yeah. Boss Hog Productions.